guys so i am back with another vlog real quick i'm gonna show you guys how to make the cabbage that i make with the sausage i don't have a name for it it's just called cabbage with sausage in it okay i have really been getting this request from someone and i promised her that today i would make it so here we go um so i'm gonna take it i went to the store and i grabbed all of my ingredients um everything that i needed that i didn't have i have a head of cabbage and I have some smoked sausage and I'm just getting everything out of my bag here and I have some Cajun style and I'll do we I'll do I'll do sausage I hope I'm saying it right I always <laughs> I don't know how to say it so I'm just saying how I think it's supposed to be said and I have some bacon here um and also in this bag i have this delicious juice i told you guys to go out and try because it is amazing um and this is the v8 splash um watermelon cherry bomb.com it tastes like a jolly rancher a watermelon jolly rancher all right so enough of that um first thing i'm going to do is cut up my cabbage and onions and get that going and also my sausage oh wait i think first i'm gonna start my bacon in the in the pan and i'm gonna be using this pan here don't laugh at don't laugh at my pan but i'm using what i what i have i'll be getting new pans pretty soon here pots and pans so anyways i'm gonna get going and start it on the video all right so of course the first thing you want to do is clean your head of lettuce i like to wash mine and uh -oh. and i like to kind of just peel off that first layer because for some reason i feel like i don't need it and it's really dirty and it's clean under here i could be wrong but hey that works for me so i peeled off the first layer and i'm just washing it off to make sure it's clean All right. And then next I'm going to take it and I'm just gonna cut it up. I normally do these little circles here. And then I just take them, stack them, cut them again so that when I put them in a pot, they can kind of like separate. Don't mind Lovey in the background making all that noise. She outside playing. So that's who you hear. And just gonna cut around these edges here to get all the good part off. I don't cut all this thick, this thick part. I don't, I don't, I don't need all of that. So I'm gonna just discard this and throw it away. So now I have, and you can get a bigger. You can get a bigger head of lettuce if you want, depending on your own family size. I got a small one because it's just uh, me and Amari and my mom here, and it'll be enough for us. So they have bigger ones, or you can get more than one. So um, I cut up my lettuce. I mean, not my lettuce, I'm sorry guys, my cabbage. And now I'm gonna get the onion out and get to cutting that up. Next, I'm gonna cut this onion here. Throw this away. I'm gonna peel all of this stuff off. Pretty much the first layer, like the cabbage. And then I still like to rinse, rinse my onion off. Just because, they say water is supposed to help. You know, if you run some, I'm not sure if it's cold water, hot water whatever kind of water you guys gonna have to google that and see if that works um when you cut up your onion it's supposed to help you help with your eyes the burning of your eyes if you run cold or hot water i'm not sure which one but i'm not cutting them up small because they're all gonna saute down with the with the cabbage so that's all you need and i'm just gonna put it on top of this um cabbage pile here that i have here in this little area and while that's done I'm gonna take this bacon and I'm gonna put it in the pan but let first I need to 
turn this pan on. Turn my fire on. I think I'm gonna put it on like medium. And um, I guess while that's heating up, I'll start cut, cutting up my uh, sausage, okay? So I'm gonna put this down and uh, open this pack up and just cut circles. I don't know, do you guys rinse your sausage off when you're making, um, when you're using this type of sausage? I like to rinse mine off. Not sure if I'm supposed to or not, but I do. And I just cut these up in little circles here. Okay, now that my sausage is all cut up, I'm gonna take my bacon over here by the stove. And my pan is um, all heat up, heated up, warmed up, heated up, it's ready, okay? I'm just gonna add some bacon um, because we're gonna use this bacon, it's gonna give us some flavor um, for the cabbage. So since I have a small head of lettuce, I'm only gonna use four. Sometimes I cut these up in smaller slices, but you don't necessarily have to do that because you only using this for um, flavor. Alrighty, so this is about how much you wanna cook this up. It'll cook some more once we are um, add it back into the pot but I'm gonna take this out right now so I can add my sausage in the same pot to, uh, to cook and I'm just draining a little bit of that juice off because we want to keep all of those drippings this is my way of cooking uh, making this dish I don't know if you guys know a different way but this is how I cook it for uh, myself and my family we like to eat it like this so I'm just adding the sausage in here and that's gonna create some more juice. And we're gonna cook these until they are um, done all the way as well. Give it a good stir. All that juice down there from the, from the bacon and from your sausage is gonna give your cabbage a really, really nice flavor. And like I said, we're going to cook these until um, they're nice and ready. And then we're going to add our cabbage. Our sausage is looking mighty pretty up in here. And we got a lot of good juice going on. So now it's time to, I can add the, the bacon back in here. And just mix it all in. And now we can go ahead and add our... We're gonna add our cabbage to the mix and get it all, all going. I'm just gonna drop it on in there. We got our onions, we have our cabbage, and all that good stuff just um, in here ready to go. And then um, FYI, you don't have to use the spicy sausage. You can use turkey sausage, you can use um, you can use whatever sausage you like, but I prefer to add some spicy sausage to mine because it just gives it that much more flavor. And I like a little spice, but not too, too much. So this is perfect. And then, um, what I'm going to do is kind of like, kind of hard to do with the camera in hand, but y'all kind of get the idea. I'm going to flip, flip it over. So that it all can get up in there. Get some of that juice on top of this sausage. I mean on top of this cabbage. And just kind of flip it. Do that for a little while. And then I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So now you can see that I flipped it. You know over a couple of times. And got all the juice and everything. And sometimes I add um, a little bit of olive oil. To the bottom of my pan if i don't get enough juice from the sausage and the bacon but i really didn't need to do that step because 
it made enough so um, I won't be needing the oil this time if you feel like you need to add olive oil or vegetable oil to your pan um, so that your um, your cabbage won't stick go ahead and just use a little little bit but you should you really should unless you burn it you really don't need it you you could use just the drippings from your sausage and bacon so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, slice a little piece of bacon I'm trying to I mean butter I don't know if y'all can see that but I'm just adding about that much butter to the to the pot and then I am also going to use some Cajun seasoning you can use um, whatever you like I like Cajun seasoning or or I like to use um tony sasher's um the creole seasoning um that's what i use or you can use old regular seasoning salt and pepper and that type of thing so i'm just going to add some of this one the cajun seasoning to here season it up a little bit and then i'm going to flip it some more to get all the seasoning marinated all the way through And then you're pretty much done. I'm going to turn my fire down and add a lid. And then in, in about uh, five, about 10 minutes, I'll come back and flip it some more um, so that everything will get the butter all over it and everything. And there you have it. So now, um, we just wait about 10, 15 minutes, let it cook. In the meantime, you go back, you check it, and you flip it, you turn it, like, you know, just, just flip it over. And then you make sure that all the butter is melted and it's all over. And you don't want it to burn, so you watch it carefully. And it doesn't take really long, and that's it. That's it, that easy. So I'll come back and show you guys what it looked like after it's done, and hopefully you guys will try this and like it yourself here we go it's looking good oh my god it's done so you know it's done when it's nice and soft and it's all cooked down and it looks like this it's ready to go and then you don't even have to cook it so soft some people like their cabbage crunchy i personally like mine's a little soft with a with a hint of crunch if that makes sense you guys so anyways I hope this comes out well for you and I hope that you enjoy this recipe of mine and there you have it your cabbage with sausage um, Cajun sausage or regular sausage however you like it and um, that's it and I'm gonna eat mine with some leftover cornbread from last night and go to bed that's it guys so I will see you guys in the next video I am pooped I'll talk to you guys later Bye.